Okay, here's a quick video uh, introducing the idea of grin lenses. I'm going to go ahead and use some uh, previous notes on this, and this will allow me to make the video uh, a little bit quicker. Uh, a grin lens is a graded index lens. GR for graded, IN for index. And what it is, is it's a cylinder of glass uh, where the index of refraction varies with the radial distance from the axis. And what we've got here is plotted. The index is a function of R. R is the radial distance from this axis, like this picture. And the index is given as a parabolic shape and it has a maximum at the center on the axis at r equals zero and that maximum is called here n1 and it has a parabolic shape going down to, to index n2 at the radius of the cylinder r. So it has this parabolic index profile. Uh, so it, it has a larger index at the center of uh, the axis and that means it behaves as a positive lens in some sense. In other words, it causes light to be brought to a focus. And the idea here is that when we have parallel beams, when we have a, a beam parallel hitting this cylinder here, this is now a grin lens cylinder viewed from the side, a, a beam that comes in parallel and hits it will actually be bent towards the axis but then as it goes away from the axis, it gets bent around again and comes back to the axis. With this parabolic index profile, the beam actually follows a sinusoidal path through this thing. It goes around and following a sine wave. Uh, another beam that hits it parallel to the axis, but closer to the axis, will also go, undergo a sine wave. And... Uh, Again, with that parabolic profile, both of these parallel rays will be brought to sort of a focus right here. And they will be brought to a focus over and over again uh, at these points in this Grin lens. Uh, the period of that sine wave is called the pitch of the Grin lens. Okay, and it's this period of the sine wave cycle. Uh, and so this uh, distance at which they're Parallel ray, incoming rays are first brought to a focus is at a distance p over 4 into the Grin lens. So what we can do is we can take one of these cylinders and chop it off so that we've got just a length of p over 4. So here's now a Grin lens with a length p over 4 and it acts sort of like a positive lens. It's called a quarter pitch Grin lens and it acts like a lens. Parallel rays are brought to a focus uh, on the back face of that Grin lens. We can apply Grin lenses to help us bring uh, light into an optical fiber. So here uh, we're going to use a Grin lens to couple light, couple collimated light into a fiber uh, we're going to actually glue this lens onto the end face of the fiber, uh, as shown here. So here we've got the fiber, we've got the core, we've got to somehow bring light into that core. Well, if we get this light parallel to the optic axis, this geometry of the Grin lens and the pitch of the Grin lens guarantees that we're going to focus that light right into that core. So it's kind of nice. After we glue it together, we don't have to worry about a misalignment of a lens with a piece of fiber uh, in sort of a typical uh, launching situation we may have in fact a lens here and a piece of fiber uh, and and in fact we have two pieces which have to maintain their relative alignment somehow gluing this all together in sort of a package uh, and this alignment may be difficult to achieve but with the Grin lens once you glue it together uh, it stays together and so it's, Grin lenses are very useful for coupling light into fibers. And that's it.